This HVAC control box came out of a 2005 Chevy Silverado. I took it apart um, just to clean up the, uh, the fan control connections. Um, so I'll show you how you can do that on yours if you decide to go that way. Um, first thing I did is um, this little black connector here was on like so. Um, so what I did is I popped these uh, two screw holes off and um, there's a the screws. Those are the they're little silver screws here. Um, took those out and then um, and this thing is on there like so. I got a, uh, a screwdriver right in between the black and the white and bent the white back just ever so slightly. So then I could get another screwdriver underneath the black and kind of like pick it up a little bit. And then I had to do it um, on the three different um, white pieces. So it's one, one, two, and three. So you kind of like lift up this position first a little bit and then go to this one, lift it up a little bit, you know, underneath the black and push the black up there. And then lastly get the this uh, little flange and then this uh, entire black piece pops off. And um, on the inside this black unit here, I uh, scraped off the copper to clean up the connections. That way uh, the switch will work a lot better uh, since this is an older unit. And then um, on, on this uh, copper circle, there are uh, Two, two contact points, one's on this little hump, and then that's a second one. And then when you rotate the, um, the button, it will engage these different uh, fingers uh, to run different fan speeds. So I clean that up, that should be good to go. And then um, the other thing that I did is I, around the perimeter of the plastic piece, I took out, uh, there's some screws black screws here. Those are five millimeter screws. These screws over here are 5.5 millimeters. Um, took off the buttons, the four screws around the perimeter and these other buttons and slide. And then I was able to then take off this face plate here. And then once you take that off, you can kind of take a look inside. Um, there's some chips in here that, uh, not sure what uh, is going on with these devices, but um, I did want to take a quick look at this, these sliders. This driver slide slider is still intact and working. The passenger side one fell off, but there is, uh, there is still the uh, internal slide. So I think that's still working okay. I'll just set it in the neutral position um, and leave it that way. So I'm gonna reassemble this whole unit, but I just kind of wanted to show you what's inside, not much to make this unit tick. And um, there is this switch right here in case it starts going out. Um, you might be able to replace it. Uh, and that's the part number there. But overall, not, not a lot of uh, components inside of this GM controller, uh, heating and air conditioning controller box. Thank you.